Now, you, you could conclude that this next song is a commentary on uh, obsessive consumerism uh, or the, uh, the risks of unchecked capitalism. <laughs> you could conclude that, but uh, in truth, it's probably more accurate to describe this as a, 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 a personal attribute that I sh share with uh, some of my siblings and, and good friends, all of whom think that this song was written for them. Uh, and I suspect a good number of you folks out there uh, can relate to it as well, because it, it talks about a phenomena where uh, you try to characterize uh, the distinction, the subtle distinction between uh, uh, being an astute uh, and knowledgeable collector of valuable objects uh, versus being an out-and-out -out hoarder. <laughs> I got too much stuff. I got way more shoes than it's possible to use. I got too much stuff. I got a myriad of devices and way too many vices. I got no recollection of ever starting this collection. And I guess my innate curiosity combined with sheer facility I to reach escape velocity determined my ultimate direction. And upon careful reflection, I can't ignore my obvious predilection for too much stuff. I've got multiple containers full of collagers and strainers. I got too much stuff. I got various vessels filled with mortars and pestles. It's a real mess, I tell you. Probably to start as a child collecting bottle caps and stamps. And gradually over time, grew to keyboards, guitars, and amps. Never saw myself as a hoarder with an order disorder, but after the court order, I concluded I was clearly on the border. I got too much stuff. I admit it's almost comical. It's certainly not economical. I got too much stuff. I once tried to keep the chronicle. Storage fees alone were economical. A friend said it's a symptom of some deep-seated neurosis, so I went to a shrink to get a professional psych diagnosis. And the doctor gave it to me straight. What's my likely prognosis? He scheduled me for 52 weeks of hypnosis. I got too much stuff. My basement is cluttered with things best left unuttered. I got too much stuff. I recommend you avoid the attic, especially if you're asthmatic. Now, someone be somewhat skeptical, but everything's collectible. And part of my inelegance, I don't mean to impugn your intelligence, but stop by one afternoon. You'll see an entire bedroom is strewn with autographed production cells of a Bud's Bunny cartoon, plus my prize signed photograph of Reese Witherspoon and this actual raccoon cat worn by Daniel Boone, or maybe David Crockett, plus this gold plated locket I keep in my pocket, along with this watch, keeps really good time, so don't knock it. I got too much stuff. My house is a mess. It's really quite stressful. I got too much stuff. I tried to create order, but I've been unsuccessful. I got tchotchkes and doodads and trinkets and knickknacks, plus the world's largest collection of fruit flavored Tic Tacs. I got novelties and mementos and assorted paraphernalia, plus a stuffed duck blue platypus all the way from Australia. I got too much stuff. I got too much stuff. Too much stuff. I'm filled to the brim with packages of Slim Jims. I got too much stuff. I'm stacked to the rafters with glasses from lens crafters. I try not to grumble, but my life's an absolute jumble. I take one step in any direction and I stumble. I need to minimize and reorganize and downsize and revise, optimize and prioritize and everything that implies. I got too much stuff. I got 62 cases of marshmallow fluff. I got too much stuff. And believe me, that's way more than enough. I'm stuffed to the gills with hammers and drills and posters and pamphlets and flyers and handbills. I can't help it. Categorize, classify, and collate by color and size, by texture and weight. I pray for recovery, but it's probably too late. I got too much stuff. <laughs> You, you, you said you were you said you were influenced by Judy Mitchell. I think you were influenced by Tom Lehrer. Oh well, definitely Tom Lehrer. I can't deny that. <laughs> definitely Tom Lehrer and Randy <laughs> Newman. Uh, no question about that. 